Hey, it's James at Shockvisor here today to just demonstrate the new Zero G and installing it into the Speedflex. Zero G is the first visor made specifically for the Rodell Speedflex helmet. We are super proud of the way you guys are taking this on and giving us the opportunity to provide you with your optics for this season. We believe this is the best visor in the marketplace and it's quickly showing up that it is the perfect fit. It's this, it makes the uh, visor safer in your helmet and, and takes away the gap and you don't have to force the fit. So quickly, I just want to show you how easy this thing is to install. Every uh, Zero G will still come with our shock uh, bag in the micro microfiber bag that you can use to clean and wipe off your visor and get the fingerprints off. And they also come with our new shock wiper clips. These are quick clips that we're uh, really proud of and they enable the visor to be installed quite quickly. The, um, the clips are interchangeable. They have like a silicone and a hard inner piece, and you can swap them out for different colors to match the face mask. And we're continuing to release new colors in these. We've got a uh, Columbia blue and some other uh, reds and oranges and other options coming very soon to uh, be sure and check them out. All right, so what I do first is I put the clips on the face mask. Um, these uh, visors will fit just about every Speedflex face mask that we've tested so far, even um, the Kickers mask, funny enough, and we've had them um, install on some uh, crazy custom masks made by uh, companies outside of Rydell as well. So, so far, we've had no issues, all sizes too, from youth to extra large, all right? So once you get the clips on, they just snap over the bars. They don't go around the visor, but snap on the bars first. And the screw of the clip actually snaps into the silicone of the, um, of the uh, clip outer piece, all right? So what I then do is I, I just kind of push the chin strap down a bit. And what I like to do is ride the visor in between the uh, jaw pads and the shell of the helmet, all right? That's what we're aiming at. So you don't even have to take the face mask off to install this visor. That's how easy it is to go in, all right? So just kind of easily, gently work its way up. Try not to touch any metal or other parts to avoid scratching it, but it should be quite simple. And guess what? It's already in there, right? So the visor is now in the helmet. All I got left to do, and you can see, I didn't have to bend it or put any tension on the visor to install it. Just line up the screws, do each side. All right, now what I do is to make sure there's no gap, just take your finger, thumb, push it forward slightly, and it'll basically touch the front bar and then tighten it down. All right, don't over tighten the screws, just enough to hold it in place. That's all we need here. All right, if you over tighten it, it could pop the holes on the visor if you get hit. All right, so make sure you don't over tighten the screws too much. It doesn't have to be super tight, the visor is held in by itself now. The screws are just holding it in place, that's it. So as you can see, zero gap on the visor. Probably the best fitting visor for the Rodell Speedflex. I know it is. I'm saying probably just to you know, give you guys benefit of the doubt, but I know there's no visor that's gonna fit a helmet like this, all right? So, um, all right, so that's it on the install of the Zero G. This is James at Shock Visor. We thank you very much for watching our videos. Be sure and follow us and like our channel. Have a nice day.